extravaganza for you today because this program believe it or not is all about eggs now you've probably all seen eggs like these before they're hen's eggs and look some of them are lovely brown and speckled but have a look at this this looks like a piece of rock but it is in fact an egg can you guess which type of creature might have hatched out of this egg Maybe a p -p -p penguin or an ostrich or perhaps a crocodile or maybe even a snake. <laughs> well, in fact, it's none of those creatures because this is a dinosaur's egg. I don't think it's going to hatch now, though, because this egg is about 80 million years old. It was found in France and it belonged to a dinosaur called a Hypsilosaurus. Not all dinosaurs' eggs are as big as this, though. Simon's found one which is much smaller and some which are very noisy. We don't know whether all dinosaurs hatched out of eggs, but we know that some certainly did. This is a model of a baby protoceratops hatching out and eggs similar to this were found in the Gobi Desert in Mongolia 70 years ago, though the eggs themselves were millions of years old. In 1978, in America, a lot more dinosaur eggs were found, and they've helped to tell scientists a lot more about the way dinosaurs actually lived. The eggs were probably laid by the mother dinosaur in a rough circle in a sort of sandy nest, rather like this one. The eggs were covered in sand to keep them warm and safe until it was time for the baby dinosaur to hatch out. And when it did, it probably stayed near to the nest until it was big enough and strong enough to fend for itself. I can see a dinosaur chick hatching. Shall we show everybody how it's made? Yes. Right, if I turn it around, in Ian's hand is a very simple plunger filled with water. Now what happens, Ian pushes the plunger in and the water travels through this tube up into the other plunger up here and pushes the top of the egg up so it's actually a basic hydraulic system what can you see here David the dinosaur chick <laughs> and now some even more amazing or should I say egg extraordinary eggs this egg belonged to a bird that is now extinct called the Epiornis, Epiornis, or the elephant bird. And the eggs that this bird laid were the biggest eggs ever known. Now, the bird itself was enormous, probably more than three meters high. Though the elephant bird, as far as we know, couldn't actually fly. It used its long legs to run about. Of the birds that are alive today, the ostrich lays the biggest egg. As you can see, it's nowhere near as big as the elephant bird's egg. What's hatching out of these eggs? They're baby crocodiles. The crocodile eggs have been laid in a hole in the ground. When the babies hatch, the mother crocodile comes to take them down to the water. How's she going to carry them? In her mouth. Don't worry, she's not going to eat it. The baby crocodile is quite safe inside its mother's mouth. And there's room for plenty more. This time, she picks up an egg that's not quite hatched. At another clutch of eggs, one crocodile picks up babies at the nest itself, while another, near the water, catches a stray who nearly made it to the water on its own. 
The mother crocodile can carry as many as 20 young crocodiles or unhatched eggs in the pouch in her mouth. Something else that hatches out of eggs, and that's chicks. All right, little one, I won't drop you. Now, these chicks here are only a few days old. They've been looked after by Rebecca and Reese. First of all, Rebecca, how many days did you have to wait for the chicks to hatch? 21. 21. And did you have to sit on them to keep them warm? No. Put them in an incubator. <laughs> This is the incubator. Normally, it's got something on top. Do you know what it is? An egg. Why? To keep it warm. You have to keep the eggs warm. That's right. And uh, these eggs here, they're not like eggs you can buy in the shops, are they? No. These eggs have been fertilised. Each of them has the beginnings of a small chick inside. There's a few things that you have to do if you want to hatch eggs. You have to keep them warm, just like the mother hen does when she's sitting on them. And what else does the mother hen do when she's sitting on her eggs? She turns them over. Now, this is an incubator, therefore you have to turn the eggs as well, just like the mother hen does. And Susie's going to show us how you do that, aren't you? You have to turn the eggs very carefully, side to side, so the chick doesn't stick to the side. How can you tell when you've completely turned it round? Because I've got knots and crosses on. Next time you'll take it back to the cross again, and then you'll know. Now, when you look at eggs in the incubator, it doesn't look as if anything's happening at all. But inside, a chick is beginning to grow. The yellow part of the egg, the yolk, is the food the young chick needs whilst growing inside the shell. At first, the chick looks like a white blob, but after only two days, it's grown a heart. Can you see it beating? Blood vessels form to carry food from the yolk to the tiny growing chick. After 12 days, the chick has grown legs, eyes, a beak, and claws and is beginning to take on a more recognisable shape. After 15 days, feathers start to appear. And after 21 days, the chick is fully grown and ready to crack out of its shell. The chicks inside these eggs are busy pecking away inside to try and hatch. They've got something to help them do that with. Do you know what it is? What is it? The egg tooth. The egg tooth, that's right. It's just on the end of their beak, and they use it to tap against the inside of the eggshell until a small hole appears. There's actually one just about to hatch here. Can you see that? Because he's tapped his way around into a circle. The circle of shell has come out, and now all I have to do is give a push. Go on. And there he is. It was quite wet when it was first born, and also very tired. Because they'd been pecking for such a long time, they need a bit of a rest. There he is. Hello. Yeah. What do you think he's thinking? Where am I? <laughs> yes, where am I? There he is. That's the first thing he said so far as well. Well, 
What should we call this one? Um, Fred. Fred? Hello, Fred. He's probably happy to be out of that shell, actually, isn't he? Because he's been squashed up for so long inside there. If you were Fred, what do you think would be the first thing you would want? A cuddle. A cuddle from your brothers or your sisters? And certainly have a bit of a play. Well, be gentle with him. <laughs> I think they've been a bit too rough, don't you? When the chicks hatch, they have enough food inside them to last a couple of days. And after a few hours, when they've dried off, they get put inside here. It's called a brooder, so they can run around inside. But that's not the end of the story, because these chicks will go back onto the farm or into someone's garden, and then one day they might grow as big as this. And if this hen lays an egg, well, that might turn into a chick as well. Egg sighting, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs>